Okay, Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Okay, so today I would like to share about impedance, right? So impedance is something uh, about impedes or hindrance. Or impedance can be defined as effective resistance of an electric circuit. So there is a technique okay, to determine the bulk impedance, which is called the impedance spectroscopy (IS). Okay, which is useful to evaluate the electrical properties of many electrolyzed materials. And the impedance, which is abbreviated as Z, okay, having similar unit with resistance, which is ohm. Okay. And from the impedance spectroscopy technique, okay, the output to be generated is called cocoa plot. And this is how the cocoa plot looks like, where we have the uh, X axis correspond to real part, and Y axis for the imaginary part and the real part okay, also okay, referred to R or sometimes we can have the ZR okay, or we can have the Z single prime okay, whereas the imaginary part okay, is well known with X okay, which is reactance or sometimes it can be written as Z I or Z double prime. Okay, so to interpret the cocoa plot, okay, we have three different patterns. Okay, so cocoa plot okay, consists of three different patterns. Okay, as we can see here, okay, where we have the occurrence of semicircle, okay, as this, okay, and we can have the semicircle with tilted spike. Okay, or the third pattern goes to spike only. Okay, so if let's say we have this pattern, okay, then we can deduce or we can have early prediction on how the conductivity of the electrolyte material, in which for the semicircle, okay, uh, this one is always synonym with low conductivity. Okay, whereas the spike here, okay, which we supposed to aim for because it can give us higher conductivity okay whereas semicircle and spike normally give us intermediate conductivity okay so based on this cocoa plot okay we want to determine for one parameter which is called bulk resistance rb and to determine the rb okay we have to find the intersection between two different regions which are high frequency and low frequency so based on the plot Okay, how we want to identify those regions. So let's say we use this pattern, okay, this plot. Okay, so we refer to the real part, okay, the X axis. So this region, okay, starting from the origins, we have high frequency, okay, and low frequency will be all right. Okay, then the intersection. Okay, here okay, is referring to the intersection of high frequency and low frequency which is normally okay, we are going to draw a complete circle okay, to the semicircle that we have okay, and we are going to extend the line for the spine and the intersection between these two regions is called RB okay so that is how we determine RB for the second plot. So how about the other two plots? Okay, let's say for the first case uh, plot, which is the semicircle, the RB can be determined at this position, okay, at low frequency. Okay, whereas the third pattern, okay, the RB is assumed to be this one. Okay. And this RB is useful in the determination of the conductivity, okay, which is shown here, okay, where we have to consider for the thickness of sample okay, over the RB, which we obtain from the cocoa plot, times area of sample, okay, which is actually the same as area of the electrode. Okay, so that's all from me, and I wish you good luck okay, for your experimental work.